everyone. Welcome back. It's Rachel with Living the Journal Life. I'm very happy you are here with me today and we are going to do my March haul. So this is almost everything that I bought in March that is planner related or planner adjacent. First up, I have this order from Simply Gilded. If you know me, you know I am just cuckoo for anything that has strawberries on it. So of course they did a washi, a strawberry washi release and I could not resist. So first up we have some freebies. I honestly de stash my freebies, I never use them. But the deco, I love Simply Gilded deco. And then this journaling card with the cute little lychee on it, I'm in. I think it'll be so cute to put on my fridge. And then I got a Stardust washi and the two um, strawberry washies that I wanted. I don't really do the bow washies very often, so this is what they look like all rolled out. I'm obsessed. I can't wait for usually June is just like a strawberry explosion in my journal. Next up, we have a haul from Amazon, and this is more like junk journaly supplies that I'm going to use in my reading journal and well, in my A6, which is sort of a commonplace junk journal, whatever I need it to be. So I am uh, loving these um, little washi stickers. They're like come in a variety of shapes or not shapes and sizes, but like a variety of themes. And oh, they're just, they're thin like washi and I love them. So why I got these specific ones is that I um, have been reading a lot of science fiction and I didn't have a lot of like science fiction type stickers or washi to use in my reading journal. So I was like, well, this is a good excuse to buy a little bit more of these junk journal washi sticker books that I'm totally obsessed with. I will have links to everything that I can link in the description below. So if you're really interested in something, uh, just go to the description of the video and you can find that. And if I have any discount codes for shops I PR for anything, I'll include those too. And then I wasn't sure if I was going to keep this or not, but I did end up keeping it. It's actually very cool. It's got like washi stickers in the front and then full page washi stickers in the back. And it's just like, I don't know, it's got a very cool vibe, like this paper in the back and then the transparent stickers. And yeah, I ended up being liking it a lot more than I thought I would. It's a little bit expensive for the price so, or for what you get. So I was going to send it back, but then when I got it in my hands, I was like, no, I'll, I'll definitely use this one. This one's very, very cool. Next up, we have Sweet Kawaii Design, who I do PR for, so I will have a discount code in the description below. I like to let you guys know when I get anything for free or for discounted. Um, and this is a pretty big haul because, oh, I just, I wanted all the things. So this Kiss My Fluff um, is not new, but there was still some in the shop and I didn't have it. And I've been using a lot of sticky notes lately. So I was like, yeah, I need that. And then this is my freebie. If you use Rachel 10, you can get that freebie. And then it was a freebie Friday. So I got Biscuit and he's so cute. And then this is the March freebie and I do deserve a treat. You're right, how did you know? And I love this little journaling card. I get a couple throughout the month. So I have one on my fridge and one on my wall, it's perfect. And this little busy bee notepad is so cute. I'm ready for like spring and bees and flowers. And these are just some restocks of kitty litter, which, you know, self-explanatory. It's stinky. And then some rainbow book planners. Those are new. I thought that would be fun for summer. And you deserve a treat. Another new one in March. And oh adorable. The Just a Little Krabby was again a leftover that I didn't purchase in other years and I thought that would be fun to have during summer when I'm making cranky lists. And then I didn't go crazy on the dog mom stuff because I'm a cat mom, but I did get the journaling kit just for when I was, I like to pull those out when I'm like, want to decorate, but I'm not feeling super creative or super, I don't want to put a ton of effort. The journaling kits are perfect. Same with these day on one page. They're just like super, super easy if you do daily planning. Next up, we have Itty Bitty Sticker Co, who I also PR for. So if you've used the code the Molly Squad, you can save 10% and snag an extra double box freebie, which I will show you in here. And I always love to save the little like Rachel, thank you for your order sticker. Sometimes I have to cut it out with the plastic, but it's adorable. So this is the all order freebie for March. This is the Molly Squad freebie for March. It's a double box themed with that kit. 
and then oh i love all the little spring cleaning and molly loves kisses i thought that's adorable and then all of the springtime i'm ready for it look at this cuteness and i love butterflies i always get so excited when there are butterflies in my garden i'm like oh my god there's a butterfly so these were for the molly's 10th birthday these were the freebies and then she had a kit that was like a freebie a tiered freebie um and i'm gonna use this kit on my kids uh my cat's gotcha day uh, anniversary of 11 years of the little babies um because it's just so perfect it's so cat and lovely and then i had to get some jumbo deco of spring cleaning and then of course the spring cleaning kit i've been leaning more towards jumbo deco but i can't I can't resist some of the kits and then this is Molly Loves the Moon Phases. I thought they were just so sweet. And you know me, I love this one. I, I keep reordering it because I keep reusing it. <laughs> and then this one is new and it's got all of the vegetables. And then Molly Loves Springtime. I love the little gnome and I love Molly riding a bee. Those are like ridiculously cute. And some Jumbo Deco of Molly as fruit and vegetables. I mean, yeah, there's a couple fruit on there, but mostly just vegetables. And then Molly loves ice cream. I do too, Molly. Same. <laughs> and then the Moon Phases mini kit. I just get the um, full boxes because I don't use anything else in my health planner. And that's mainly where I use the Itty Bitty Sticker Co. And then the Jumbo Deco. I had to get two of those because you know I'm going to use a bunch. And then this is the uh, freebie that came with it and it was Molly's weekly chores and I think I'm going to laminate this because I think it would be really really helpful to have like with a dry erase marker. Next up we have some happy mail that my friend sent me. Um, she is the Sarah the lovely woman behind Pinnacle Sticker Co and ah it's adorable. She made all of these like spoony stickers and then sent me a bunch to play with. Um, Invisibility Dis uh, Visible Disability Club, My Illness Has Shaped Me But Does Not Define Me, All My Spoons Must Be in the Dishwasher. If you're a spoony, she's got some great ones. And then here's um, a mixed sheet with that one. And then a full sheet of the All My Spoons Must Be in a Dishwasher. If you're a spoony, you you've definitely had that day. That That's a thing. <laughs> and I've been using these energy meter spoons, which are just so cute and live one spoon at a time yeah she did a great job with these so again link down below next up we have sweet kawaii design which i know will shock nobody because i pretty much order weekly from sweet kawaii design and uh this has some of the bigger journaling pages that's why their <laughs> uh, bag that i'm just destroying is so large so this time i got jennifer's freebie if you like this freebie it's jennifer 10 instead of rachel 10 and oh, I just love like the game on and Poe and everybody. And uh, it was Freebie Friday. So Connie with her little spring cleaning let goodness, another March freebie. Again, another one of those journaling cards. I've been putting those everywhere. And then some more, it's spring cleaning theme for a lot of sticker people. We're all ready for some spring cleaning. And then windows, which I always forget to do. And my cats stay in the window and put little nose prints all over everything. And then here's all of your spring cleaning tasks and, you know, taking out the trash and laundry, sort of a refab of a bunch of things that you do on the regular and some spring cleaning kits. It was a really good re release. And then I got two of the journaling kits because I've been loving, like I said, just pulling these out when I just need a quick, easy couple of days. It's everything I need to make a couple of days just super duper cute. So I got a couple of those and I really love the like twitchy bow, must clean bow bunny, just being all like must clean. And then I got a few of the May kits for my Hobonichi A6 and my mom's Hobonichi cousin. And then the dashboard page for my mom's Hobonichi cousin and my memory planner. And then the day on one page kit uh, stickers. So I got all the May things. I am super, super ready for spring and spring cleaning. Next up is the Archer and Olive subscription. This was my first time ordering from Archer and Olive and getting their subscription. So it is super duper fancy. I am in love with sort of everything that came in the box and I'm, I'm, I'm hooked. 
it's it's going to be hard not to stay subscribed because everything is so gorgeous and this is a like notes on nature spring kind of thing and everything has such amazing packaging that like the packaging is gorgeous and the ugh, all of the journals i'm just like they're almost too pretty to use i'm not one of those people so i say almost because i'm gonna use them i've already decided that this one is going to be no the bigger one this one might be my trip journal because i'm planning a trip soon and this might be my journal to plan my trip and take notes and get souvenirs and stuff while i'm on my trip so this that's that's what this one might be but it's gorgeous and uh, dot grid and oh I just love the gilding on the outside and it feels really great the paper quality seems really good I'll let you know after I use it what I think about the paper quality because I didn't want to mark anything up because it's just it's all so fancy <laughs> The next thing that I pull out of the package is this fountain pen ink and I have used the sort of medium teal ink in the fountain pen and it's pretty good ink. I'm kind of enjoying the ink more than the pen. The pen feels like a good introductory fountain pen. It feels like it's a maybe a Chinese pen on the like introductory sort of side. So if you've been using fountain pens for any length of time or if you have some of the like higher end fountain pens, it's going to seem not great to you. Um, it is a rather scratchy sort of starter pen, but it's not bad by any means. It's just not, if you're already into fountain pens, it's not going to blow you away. But if it's your first fountain pen, it's really fun to play with and the inks are gorgeous and write really beautifully. Um, the <laughs> filling mechanism is bizarre. I've, I've never seen this filling mechanism before and I've been using fountain pens for, I don't know, a decade. So that, that was new and I do not like it. I'm gonna hopefully try and find a like universal, I'm hoping it's universal converter size because that converter is not great. So that's the only disappointing thing in this whole box for me was the fountain pen is just sort of a meh, it's not a great one. And this is a ruler and it's got a scalloped edge, which I played with the other day on my daily page of my Hobonichi cousin. And oh, it's so pretty and it, it's useful because I use, um, to draw straight lines all the time and I, now I'm going to do scallop lines so it's very pretty very like hefty it's not gonna break really easily which I also enjoy and um <laughs> getting things back in the boxes for some of these things is a little bit like even just getting the washi out I I'm gonna have some trouble here so I'm just gonna skip to where I actually have it out <laughs> so that you guys can see it. I don't think I swatched it right away, um, but it's all sort of this already junk journaled, very like ephemera, really kind of cool vintage, some like note pages. I really like the washi and it's all super fat washi. And then this one didn't really go with the others for me. It's gorgeous on its own and I really like all the washi, but it didn't, it's like the other ones were so, I don't know, kind of junk journaly and that one's very fancy. Um, so it didn't seem to go for it together, but I enjoy all of them. Like I, I really loved all of them, but that one seemed a little weird to me. It matches the boxes. It just didn't match the other washi so i don't i didn't quite get that one but it's gorgeous and i'll use it so that's all that matters and then there's two stickers and they're sort of this spring floral with very floral like forest of ideas and plan your own path and stuff like that so it's a very foresty themed everything i can see why this is such a popular um, subscription. I had never ordered anything from Archer and Olive and everything really feels very very high quality. Um, even even the fountain pen ink is it feels like really nice ink. The only thing that the quality was sort of lacking is the fountain pen and that's such a tricky thing to, to it's it's very personalized what you're gonna like so and then this is so fun. I'm probably going to give this one to a friend as a like adventure journal of her own or maybe i will use this one as my travel adventure journal so it's on craft paper and it's supposed to be a sketchbook 
I believe. And it's just, it's gorgeous. And the um, leather cover is part, it's like permanently part of the journal. It's not actually a cover, it is the journal. Um, but it's got this gorgeous leather cover and it's very, I don't know, fun. And I'm sure the leather is gonna get all scuffed up and stuff as you use it. And I really like that because <laughs> it's such a smooth, perfect leather right now. And then this uh, last one I'm going to use in 2025, oh good golly, as my reading journal because it is perfection and I love it. And unless another journal comes along before 2025, which could happen, but right now this one is definitely reserved for my 2025 reading journal. And look at it. It's gorgeous and it's blue and it's got beautiful flowers and oh, a little embossed edging and I just I love it it's it's beautiful it's perfection it's got sort of these like torn raw edges it's got this beautiful gilding on the inside and dot grid paper so I think it is going to be beautiful and perfect for my very sophisticated book journal in 2025 I don't I don't know why it's going to be sophisticated but the outside at least very sophisticated outside <laughs> so yeah, very happy and impressed overall with my first Archer and Olive. Next up, I have some happy mail from the owner of Sweet Bean Plans. She recently went to Japan and did a giveaway in her Facebook group, and I was lucky enough to win. So this is just some of the fun goodies that she brought back from Japan. Hello Kitty sticky notes, and Karo, I can never say his name, the adorable frog with this pin. And yeah, I, I wish I could say his name, but I can't. <laughs> and then some Animal Crossing washi, which is so cute. And a really cool pencil that I have put in my gaming area to keep score when we do board games. And then kitty, pic kitty stickers and puppy stickers. So uh, this is so cute. And she was so sweet to do a giveaway for us who didn't get to go to Japan. And then more happy mail. My friend sent this to me and I did ask permission to show you guys because she sent some, she always sends me the coolest stuff. Planner friends are the best friends. That was some Simply Gilded Washi and look at these cat notepads and look at Dracula. I mean, even the stamp is cool. So she finds the coolest stickers and I don't even know how or where from some of them. A lot of these are gonna be from Co Fox and Cactus. And the only reason I have a Fox and Cactus uh, stash is because of this lovely friend because she sends me the coolest Fox and Cactus stuff. So welcome to Struggle Town, population me. <laughs> you can do it, coffee. I believe you, coffee, I believe. And the Nevermore with the cute little raven. And the cutest little sea dragon you ever did see. Um, I've been complaining about my star stamp sticker, my star rating <laughs> weren't matching things. So she got me these neutral ones. And oh, I love the little no hearts, nah, you. And gaming and panic cleaning. It, she knows me so well. She finds like the perfect stickers for me. I don't know how she does it. Population me. And then this middle breakdown one is so cute because as the like as you go down, it gets more and more full, which is a very useful <laughs> to see how close you are to exploding. And last but la not least, we have Sweet Kawaii Design. And I, this was a freebie Friday and the new releases were travel themed and I did not think I was going to be traveling anytime soon. So I didn't get much. So you'll probably see a lot of the other stuff from this release in April. And this is again, my freebie with Rachel 10 and it was a freebie Friday. So the Poe, it's when it's Poe, I have to get to because he is my favorite and I love him. I love all the critters, but Poe just has a special place in my heart. Again, the March freebie and the March journaling card, which you have seen before. And then I wanted to add the birthday months to a couple of my other planners besides my Hobonichi cousins. So I'm trying it out in um, various sizes to see which will work with my Avalon and Ninth B6 health planner. And then I got April for my mom's Hobonichi cousin. And then the day on one page travel. So you'll see more travel stuff soon. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.